Uh, what uh, what kind of goals have you set for yourself? Because you are going to do synchro and you're going to do um, individual, and of course there's the team as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've set my goals pretty high, hoping that obviously making finals in synchro and hopefully having a chance to defend our title. Um, individually, it would be great to make the final as well, and also with the team, um, making the top five teams will be in the team final, but we have a, a young team, so hopefully we'll be able to, to make it in, and then anything's possible. If we got a medal, that'd be great, because we want a silver. The optional team. routine that you'll use here, uh, how would it compare, say, roughly to uh, the one that you used in uh, Beijing at the Olympics? Um, well, the difficulty changed a bit this year, so I, I brought my DD probably down by about point, only like point two or maybe point four, depending on what I do. So it's it's not that much of a drop, and it's still competitive, and I'm I'm still competitive with the routines I'm doing. So it just depends on how good I perform them, and basically how well everyone else does to where I'll end up. And it's one of the real vets now in the sport. Uh, how, how do you feel coming in here, knowing that uh, you're probably one of the very handful of people that has as much experience as you do? Um, now, at this stage of my career, yeah, I rely heavily on experience, what I've done in the past, especially when I haven't trained that much this year. I'm going to rely on all the training I've done you know, for the past 10 years, and I think it helps a lot having that behind you, and you can, you know, I don't, I can deal with my nerves better than, you know, some of the rookies on the team, I see them quite nervous or stressed, and I know how to deal with that now, so it's, it's nice to be at that stage. <laughs>